When we think helicopters, millionaire playboys come to mind who land on the helipads of their luxury yachts. In reality though, the best-selling copters of today are light and ultralight models as well as amateur construction kits that could be easily stored in your backyard and at times cost less than a decent sports car. In today's episode of Automotive Territory, we'll be covering the smallest and consequently the cheapest choppers that exist today and let us enjoy the VTOL flights on a budget. So subscribe to our channel, ring the bell to get alerted about the next video and enjoy your flight! KISS 216 Located in the province of Parma, Italy, the Fama Helicopters is a family-owned and operated business that was established in 2009 by helicopter flight instructor Antonio Fama and his daughter, experienced pilot Manuela Fama. Over the years, the company developed two aircraft models and delivered 65 units to its customers. Available in two modifications with fixed and retractable undercarriage, the KISS 216 is the more recent among FAMA builds. Just like the company's previous 209 model, it features a steel carbon fiber construction and is powered by one turbo shaft engine that, however, delivers 170 instead of 160 horses. The helicopter also becomes lighter and faster with an empty weight of 661 pounds and the max speed of 127 mph. Interestingly, the moniker KISS stands for Keep It Stupidly Simple, which is also the brand's design motto. Conor K1 and K2 In 2002, the Italian Conor SRL was founded by Sergio Bortoluz, an engineer and turbine constructor with 25-year experience in the field. Ten years later, his passion for aeronautics culminated with the creation of the TK-250 turboshaft engine of Conor's proprietary design and their first flyer, the K-1. Since then, this model has gone into production and the company's lineup grew to two helicopters, adding a more spacious Conor K-2 with a four-blade rotor. While the K-1 was the first aircraft to be built with a monolithic carbon fiber structure, the K-2 continued to use this material, but added glass and Kevlar to the construction of the fuselage. Just as the older model, it is powered by the 250-horsepower Condor engine with FedEx system. Both can cruise at 150 miles per hour and accommodate two people. Robinson Helicopters the Robinson Helicopter Company is based in Torrance, California and is the world's biggest manufacturer of light aircraft with 46 years of experience and $200 million yearly revenue. As of 2019, they carry three models in multiple configurations. The two-seat R22, the R44 four-seater and the largest R66 with 1 plus 4 carrying capacity. The former two copters are powered by light coming four- and six-cylinder engines with 124 and 205 continuous horsepower respectively, while the latter gets a Rolls-Royce RR300 turbo shaft that makes 244 HP. The Robinsons are the best-selling helicopters in the world, with the R44 maintaining the title of the most produced general aviation aircraft of the 21st century, with 5,805 deliveries from 2000 to 2017. All these models are widely used by the police force, media companies, and in the private sector. Composite FX Mosquito The XE series helicopters produced by the Mosquito Aviation, commonly known simply as Mosquitoes, are probably the most recognizable models within the ultralight segment. Even though the company went out of business in 2015, its legacy is being carried on by the Florida-based Composite FX. These aircraft were designed to comply with the U.S. experimental amateur build and the European Microlight aircraft rules. The relative simplicity of the construction allows the Mosquito to be sold as both factory finished and kit options. There are four variants on offer, the industry standard XE, the XEL with floating capability, the workhorse of the range XE-285 powered by Intec 800 two-cylinder two-cycle motor, and the flagship XCT that gets a 90-horsepower solar T62 2A1 turbine. Denali H3 Sport Founded in 1980, the Belgian Denali started out as a fixed-wing ultralight aircraft builder, but due to the wide availability and affordability of carbon fiber, since 2010 they primarily focused on the production of the H3 Easy Flyer Sport Copter. It was designed for flight training, utility and personal use, 
with the majority of units being sold in France and South Korea. This is a single rotor aircraft with two seats and side-by-side -side configuration and enclosed cockpit with a bubble canopy. The Denali's cross weight reaches 992 pounds or 450 kilos, still placing it within the French Class 6 Microlite category. This helicopter is powered by a standard liquid-cooled four-stroke Rotex Flat 4 engine, but there are three additional modifications of this power plant, with power ranging from 100 horses and up to 135 for the turbocharged version. Rotorway A600 the Arizonian Rotorway Helicopter Kit manufacturer is one of the largest, most well-known brands in this industry that has been making helicopters since 1961. In 2011, the company introduced the A600 kit that succeeded the exact family and as of today is the only model produced by the Rotorway. Designed for amateur builders, the A600 comes with all the necessary blueprints and construction materials included. All of its components such as engine and rotor system, airframe and tail boom arrive factory assembled and fully functional to make sure you will have no problem building the aircraft. The customers can choose between two company-built engine options, a 147 horsepower RI600N or a turbo RH600T, making 168 horses. To make the payment and assembly easier, the A600 is supplied in four equipment groups. Did I miss some of the smallest and cheapest helicopters in today's market, or maybe you have something else to add? If so, your comment will be much appreciated. I'm eager to learn. Remember to press that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's keep rolling! Safari Helicopter 500 Originally known as Canadian Home Rotors, the Safari Helicopter is an American kit helicopter manufacturer located in Florida. Their famous Baby Bell helicopter, later renamed to Safari 400, has been in production since 1992. In 2017, the company introduced a new generation Safari 500. Though it features the previous well-proven engine and drivetrain components, the 500 boasts a faster cruise speed due to the better aerodynamic design and a new fuselage. With these updates, the standard 180 horsepower engine also offers greater endurance, though the exact numbers are yet to be revealed. Like in larger aircraft, the Safari's rotor blades are made of composite materials, while transmission spindles are machined from billet titanium. The helicopter is delivered disassembled as a kit, but digging deeper in your pocket, you may order a flight ready one. Rotor Schmied VA-115 In 2018, the German Rotor Schmied, owned by the Chinese DA General Aviation Group, announced that it has received a permit to fly for its latest development, the Ultralight VA-115 helicopter, which was the first aircraft of its class approved in Germany. The model has an empty weight of 306 pounds and an outstanding payload of 287. To reduce weight, Rotorschmied abandoned the conventional tail rotor and installed the new generation coaxial rotor system. It offers better handling, stable flight characteristics, and fuel consumption of 4.23 gallons per hour in cruise. Despite its ultralight approach, the VA-115 does care about safety, including such innovative rotor features as the freewheel unit, centrifugal clutch, and blade locking system. Upon reaching final certification, the model will target private customers making their first steps in helicopter flying and various flying schools. Zephyr The Italians from Curti Aerospace have been making mechanical components for aerospace and defense companies for almost 40 years. Having studied the market opportunities in the ultralight segment, Curti invested all their expertise and four years of development to launch their own two-seat turbine helicopter that would raise the bar for safety in the segment. The Zephyr features modern turboshaft engine, composite blades, and carbon fiber airframe. Its maximum takeoff weight is 1,540 pounds, while the two CS27 certified seats are made of shock absorbing materials that ensure crew safety in the event of hard landing. In addition, a small container with a ballistic parachute is located above the rotor and it is fired in case of an emergency. This makes Zephyr the first helicopter in its class to be equipped with such a rescue system. Hungarocopter the spare bones flyer was developed by Sultan Shuhach, the lead engineer at the Hungarian company Hungarocopter Limited. 
Sold as a kit for amateur construction, it complies with European micro-light aircraft rules and counts as a single-seat enclosed cockpit or an open cockpit without a windshield. Since it is a low-budget build, the fuselage is made of steel tubing, hence the typical empty weight of 661 pounds. The Hangaroo Copter is powered by two optional automotive conversion engines, four-cylinder four-stroke 135 HP Subaru EJ22 or 160 horsepower Subaru EJ25. As it is claimed by the manufacturer, it will take you 300 hours to assemble the kit, so make sure to free up the schedule. Velocopter Velo City Being fans of electric propulsion, we could not resist including a fully electric model into this list. In development since 2011, the flying taxi from Velocopter isn't like any other helicopter or VTOL on the market. Unveiled in August 2019, the Velo City is powered by 18 e motors linked to 18 rotors and 9 batteries. The company says this model will be capable of carrying two passengers with their hand luggage, reaching the maximum speed of 68 miles per hour. Its maximum range, however, still remains rather modest, around 22 miles on each charge, so the velocity is primarily aimed to serve as an inner city air taxi. We should also mention that the company is working on building a hub system for their VTO wells called Voloport in cooperation with the British Skyport's Vertiport operator. Do you agree that some of these helicopters can indeed be considered affordable for an average person who is passionate about flying? Are they worth the money? Share your opinion in the comments below, like this video, subscribe to Automotive Territory and proceed to watching other videos within the aviation or cars topic. We cover everything motorized. May the torque be with you!